Hey YouTubers, Captain Kenny here. A little bit more update on the 1999 Chevy 6.5 diesel I've been having problems with. I put a new injector pump on it. That didn't fix the problem. Put a new fuel pump on it. That didn't fix the problem. Put a new fuel pump relay in there. That didn't fix the problem. Put a new, what is that thing called? A PMD, pump mounted driver and relocated it to the bumper. That didn't fix it. Added a set of, what are those? Something cool. Gauges. Fuel pressure gauge and a boost pressure gauge. And that didn't fix the problem. Just let me know that I was actually getting fuel to my injector pump. So what I've done is I ordered a set of uh, shop manuals for a 1999 Chevy pickup come as three great big manuals. Unfortunately, you have to make sure that you get the shop manual that includes the 3500 because that's the one that includes the diesel part of it. And I just got $75 worth of books that tell me about how to change the freaking regulator on the door. I don't need to know that. I need to know the details about the diesel motor. So that didn't fix the problem. But I've got a big doorstop here that costs $75. I'll probably look at them occasionally. So I contacted the guy that I bought the injector pump from, Walt, and he let me know that the $425 auto ingenuity that I had was not what I needed to reset the timing on that 6.5. What I need to reset that timing with is what they call a Tech 2. So what this video is going to consist of is the unboxing of the Tech 2. I believe it just came yesterday, and so I want to do an unboxing of it this weekend. I'm going to probably hook it up to the truck and try to reset the timing. Walt from SS Diesel Performance or Diesel Specialties or whatever name of his company is said that this is what you have to have. Uh, he also told me not to buy a clone. I don't know if I bought a clone or not. I bought it from the company that supposedly bought out Bosch and is making the scanners for Bosch, from what I understand. But these Tech 2s are kind of a, uh, I don't know what you call it, other than it's a pain in the ass. So let's do an unboxing. Uh, shop manuals I got. They've got everything in there but what I need. So I've got that. Opened, probably open through customs or something. I think this thing comes out of the UK. I actually thought it's supposed to come in a box because that's what it advertises as. I guess I'll have to contact them. Supposedly original software, at least the CDs weren't broken half, they were just laid in the box. Split one side of it. Hold on. Pretty poor lighting in this house. That's even with it sharp. It doesn't cut through very easily.
Okay. Looks like it has no numbers on it. No numbers. I guess you're supposed to fill those in yourself. It's got the uh, card already in it. And this part. Doesn't have the GM logo. Hmm. I guess we'll find out, huh? What else is in here? These are supposed to be the original software. You've got to have a XP system in order to connect this Tech 2 to the uh, computer. So luckily I still have an XP system. Looks like it comes with a uh, AC adapter. Looks like a hazardous waste emblem on it. Comes up with the candy module for the newer vehicles. This one's the serial cable, which I don't have a serial port, I believe, on my computer. I don't know what that one's for. Oh. That plugs into these, these modules, which in turn those plug into the OBD of the vehicle. Hmm. Something else to fail. So you got to put a gender bender in here for this cord to work. So we've got a 12 volt hookup for running it in the car. Here's a serial cable to actually do the uh, update on it. I'd have to check my. And then here's a. Looks like some type of uh, network or RJ45 loop or something. There's the 12 volt power system for it. So this originally was $999. It was on sale for $649 and then they had a coupon 10% off. Ended up costing me $585. Bucks. This is 2019 October. Uh, all the stuff I saw on the internet were uh, stuff that was from several years ago and all they could say is don't get a clone, don't get a clone. But uh, I ain't paying no thousand bucks for a 10 year old computer. They say they stand behind it so uh, we'll see Saturday morning. We'll hook it up and give it a go. freaking glasses. That's lovely. Okay, here's the email I got back from SS Diesel Supply, the company that I bought my uh, injector pump from. I told them uh, that I bought an auto ingenuity to set the timing with, and this is the response. They said, uh, Unfortunately, that's a Chinese knockoff, and customers who have purchased it told me they don't work. Most of them take them back. A real tech tube is made by Bosch. The rest of them are knockoffs. What you need is what is below in the next paragraph. They are a lot more than $200. So, I told him about what I've done to the car, put the new injector pump on, the new PMD, new fuel pump, and he told me that uh, he wanted to know how I set the timing. What I did is when I took the old injector off, I put a mark on it. When I got the new injector pump, I put a little mark on it and put it in the exact same spot. When I used the auto ingenuity on it, it said that it, the timing was at point negative, or it was at like 2.75. I unbolted the injector pump, turned it about a millimeter or so towards the driver's side, rechecked it, and went through the what they said the learning process on this auto ingenuity, but it wasn't the way that they described it from the SS Diesel Supply Company. Uh, 
So this is the response he gave me back after I told him how I set the timing. He said, making a mark means nothing on an electronic pump. You are making the same fatal mistakes most 6.5 guys do. Whoa! Better step on that light. Okay. Take two. Making a mark means nothing on an electronic pump. You're making the same fatal mistake most 6.5 guys do. You cannot set up this system with anything but a Tech 2. What you are seeing is not correct. Tens of thousands of you before have found out too the hard way. You must use a Tech 2 and begin with the TDC Learn procedure. Then set the TDC offset to negative 0.25 to negative 0.75 and then set the base timing to 3.5 with the stepper motor disabled, which I didn't do that before. To confirm it is disabled, desired timing must be zero. Then set the actual timing to 3.5. If desired is not zero, timing cannot be set. The step motor is still active it must read zero in order to set that timing. This is, this is not my way, nor my opinion. It's 100% fact. The 6.5 is designed to interface with only the Tech 2 when it came out. The Tech 2 was a dealer only item and the tool made a lot of money for customers so small shops got irritated. So in 1996, a class action lawsuit was filed and they made the Tech 2 for sale to anyone. But it today is the only thing that will interface with the 6.5. My professional mechanics own one as a staple tool for most GM vehicles, gas and diesel. So if you have a friend in the business, maybe he can loan it to you for a couple hours on the weekend. Just avoid taking it to the dealer like poison, which I don't, because last time I had my 92 fixed, they charged me $1,300 to put a computer in it, which the computer was $175. Uh, GM no longer trains on the 6.5, so the kids working there today don't know how to use it on the 6.5. Most old-timers that are long since retired aren't there either at the dealership. Get yourself a Tech 2 or take it to a real diesel shop who has one. It cannot be set up without it. So this Saturday, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. I made a video using the Auto Ingenuity, which that, I guess, was what we're going to consider a fail. So y'all stay tuned. And uh, hope this video is informative to you because I searched the internet and searched the internet and searched the internet and couldn't really find much about setting the timing on a 6.5. I think it was a top secret thing that mechanics didn't want to get out on the internet. So uh, I've talked to three other diesel mechanics and they said they wouldn't touch a 6.5 if it rolled in and it was covered with gold. Uh, they just hate them, and I guess they didn't know about this or something, because uh, maybe they can never get the timing set on them, which never makes them run correctly. Right now, mine at startup, uh, it starts up, but then it kind of like, the timing's off for like 10 seconds. It's like the computer's trying to relearn stuff. So, hopefully this Tech 2 will fix it. I'm like excited. Hopefully I got my money's worth and it actually turns on and works. That's all I really care about. Uh, most of the stuff that was wrote that I read about the Taiwan or Japanese, not China, the Chinese Tech 2s, all the articles I read were like 2012, 2014, so they were like years ago. So hopefully I didn't get screwed. Y'all stay tuned. I will definitely let y'all know. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Leave me comments down below. I'll be glad to... Uh, talk to you about what I found out about this and uh, got an auto ingenuity for sale. Talk to y'all later.